simplify this a little bit more because I think you guys can like sketch these out if you like to. But you know, when I look at a negative angle, immediately I am automatically thinking I need to go in that direction, right? I need to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And if I'm going to go from here to here, I know is pi. But based on what I explained in the last example, we could also represent that in terms of fourths. So pi is how many fourths? Four. Yes, four fourths, four pi over four is still pi, right? But this is important because I'm traveling, again, remember this is just negative just means the direction. So I'm still going to use the positive four pi over four. But we're traveling from here to here, but my angle is just one more pi over four. Right? So therefore, all I need to do is just travel an extra one, four, one pi over 4. Right? Because if you, I mean, I, you could break this up if you wanted to into fourths, right? And you're just going, you already know this is 4 pi over 4, and you just need to go an extra pi over 4. Oh. Right? So the angle in standard form would probably, you know, just look a little bit more like this. Now, let's talk about the reference angle. How far away is that terminal side from the x-axis? Well, all we did from the x-axis, we just went an extra pi over 4. So the distance from the x-axis is pi over 4. So we'd say the reference angle is pi over 4. Yes? Isn't 4 pi over 4 just pi? Yep. yep. So I'm just using it as a counting measure. So you can see 4 pi over 4 to go extra pi over 4 just be 5 pi over 4. So I just use it for that. You could keep it as pi over, you could keep it as pi if you want. 